everybody this is a ways back with another video of ionic 4 on the channel so i was working on the project uh, which i use ionic 4 i was working on a sign up form where i needed this password field with a show and hide button so i'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this functionality so if i type any text it's in a password type you click on this eye icon it changes that to the text and then changes the icon as well I click back and it changes the icon to I and also it changes the password type to password. It's a very common functionality that you will find in all the websites which deals with the registration or mobile apps as well. So a lot of websites and mobile apps uh, allow this functionality. So it's a very simple process. I'm going to be walking you through how you can achieve this functionality using Angular and Ionic 4. So this is just like a blank ionic application that i just created for this uh tutorial and i've got this ion item let me zoom in a bit so i've got ion item within that i've got ion input and one icon here so when i type some password here its type is set to password what i would like to do is i would like to click on this button and once I click on this button, the icon should change. So let me bring up uh, a browser where I have two icons. So I would like to have this icon when I click on that button. Password should convert into text. So let's go back to our code editor and we're going to start implementing this functionality. First thing we need to do is define two properties on our TypeScript. So I'm going to open TypeScript file for homepage and here we like to have a show password and for that we can say false okay and I'm gonna have a password toggle icon and the default value we can set that to I so this is like a, a name that we're gonna be using for our icon go back to our HTML file and here we like to change the name and wrap it in square brackets so we can use the property from the TypeScript file. So that would be password toggle icon. I'm going to save this and verify that it still has this icon there. Okay. And then we're going to have to have this ternary operation here for the password. So if I say the password is shown set to false, then we can have the password type as password. Otherwise, we can change the type to text and then change the icon as well. To achieve that functionality, we grab this type into square brackets and when I use a ternary operator on show password, I'm going to do question mark. If it's true, then change the type to text. Otherwise, leave that as password. Let's save the file and now we should see a password. Okay, now if I go to TypeScript file and change its value to true, now we can see that it will be text. So you can see we can toggle on and off this value by clicking on this button. So let's go back here and first of all, let's change this to false by default. Save the file. Let's go to here. And here I would like to have a click event. So then we can go to TypeScript file and then I'm going to add another function here. So the function, let's just say toggle password. It's not going to return anything. And I'm going to use this dot show password equal to negate this dot show password. Okay. Now we can uh, call this one. On the click of this so the so toggle password all good now if I type something and I click on this button I click again you see it's switching the type from text to password which is good now we can also change the icon as well so here we have the property getting used from password toggle icon we can change that as well so if I say go here and I'm gonna change I'm going to use an if statement here. So I'll say if this dot password toggle icon equal to I. 
then this dot password that would be let's just say I think it's I off for the icon and I can use else here this does password icon equal to I and let's just see how this thing works now okay let's type some password click and you can see the icon changed and then the password type changed as well to text so now we can see the text i'm going to click on again and that becomes the password again and the icon changed as well so it's a very simple uh, functionality that you find in pretty much all application which deals with the password field and you want to give a functionality to your user which they can you know see the password and this applies to the websites as well so this logic this workflow setting up the two properties having one function and then in angular we can have the property binded to our typescript file defined and we can change that on the go okay so if you like this tutorial guys subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one